Good afternoon and welcome to Tech Talk, where we talk about all things tech, mainly computers. Mainly computers, sometimes yeah. cameras, who knows? Yeah, so uh, it is late or mid-August now and you know what's happening. School starting. Back so to school. whether you're a student carrying technology to class or you're equipping your your child to go to high school or, or college or whatever, mm -hmm. we might have something to say. What do you mm -hmm. think? Just a little bit, probably. And a little yeah. bit of safety, too, because safety is a big issue, at least with uh, viruses and different things. Uh -huh. Yeah. Computer yeah. safety. Yeah. There's viruses of all types. That, you know, yeah. Always no, wash yeah. your hands. Well, wash your hands <laughs> all the time. Right. Cover your mouth Cover when your you mouth. cough or yeah. something. Yeah, cough, yeah. cough like yeah. this. And maybe we should be doctors. Yeah, wash your hands after you use the computer in the lab because you know everyone. Oh, yeah. And I, I always told There's hundreds my, of fingers touching that all the time. I've told my classes, well, it's not just fingers touching it, but you know, and my classes People call me breathing. gross, but where have these fingers been? Who? Who knows? Up their nose, wiping their nose, and oh, everything yeah, else. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, crazy stuff. We're, right. start, we're starting off with a very yeah. unstructured... Uh, <laughs> unstructured. I'm just saying. Uh, back to them computer hands. viruses. <laughs> wash so your So we're hands. talking about viruses. So you don't give the computer a virus, right? Yeah, that's right. It. Yeah. I've had a lot of students coming in for password changes this uh, th this last week, and especially our athletes that have come in. And mm -hmm. you know, they they look at my keyboard, and the first thing that throws them off is that I've worn off the letters and oh, the letters. keys. I couldn't use that. Oh. But but yeah, I got how like, do you type? It's clean because I, I keep the Clorox wipes. Oh, right you wipe there. them? Yeah, wipe off all. And the... you know, if if somebody sneezes in my office, as soon as they leave. You're I'm wiping, wiping it down. down. Wow, and, yeah. uh, that's cool. I used to teach a computer class in a lab, and yeah, I got sick because mm -hmm. I forgot to wash my hands a few times. What doesn't kill mm -hmm. you makes you stronger. There Supposedly. You know. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Until it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> or it just makes you ill again. <laughs> over and over and over. Yeah. Anyhow, anyhow, uh, we, we sort of picked the uh, start of school and getting ready and, mm -hmm. you know, how you decide what technologies best fit your education, your support needs, and I think it, it's, uh, it's, it's worth a discussion because we may have three different points of view, mm -hmm. and in our office when a, a, a parent comes in with their a student, we may have three different points of view, and it leaves the parent somewhat confused, perhaps, mm -hmm. but, but, but I think we all have very good valid points. And that's, mm -hmm. I think maybe what you're asking is, you're going to go into school, what kind of computer do I need? Do I need a tablet? Do yeah. I need a laptop? Do I need a PC or a Mac or a, a desktop? Mm -hmm. And it kind of depends on your, your field of study. You don't need one if the campus is providing you labs. Yeah. And you can go into that facility and have access because that's what your education dollar is paying for. Mm -hmm. True. Now, what would you like to have? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. If you want to work at home if or you in your work, car or, or, or in something. your dorm, yeah. Yeah. So, let's start, you know, like that. Does your home have internet access? Does it yeah. have speedy internet access? Yeah. Okay. Then then you want a machine that is capable of doing the tasks that your program of study requires. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, that we've said, the bottom line is, while tablets are nice, you know, while these things are fun, if there's no keyboard on it, it really makes typing formatted papers a little bit more difficult. It does. And, and by that, right. we're talking about margins, we're talking about placing graphics, and yes, we're moving into a stylus type of period, and there are the mm -hmm. two-in-ones that have the detachable keyboards, mm -hmm. but I defy anybody to, you know, grab their phone and type a paper just because they have a mobile Word app. Right. It just doesn't happen. Maybe with a Bluetooth uh, keyboard that you can connect to it, but how are you going to see what are you typing on the screen? And yeah. how's that? Really hard to do. Okay. I don't know if the screen moves around if you're trying to type a paper that's this big on something that's that big. So our first thing is make your first device something with a keyboard. Mm -hmm. I agree. Can, we can yeah. agree? Yeah. Wow, that's a first. Okay. I, well, just on that <laughs> one, though. No, yeah. and, and aside from that, you know, we don't talk religion and we don't talk politics. No. So whether it's a Mac, whether it's a PC, we don't care. You know, both of them are great. And today, 
uh, with the email account that you get with Rio Grande, you can download a full copy of the Microsoft Office suite mm -hmm. onto that device. And in our web-based apps, whether you're in the Google camp, you know, from uh, K through 12 using mm -hmm. Google Docs, or whether you're in higher ed using Office 365, you get a web-based copy of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, mm -hmm. storage, and there are mobile apps that let you access it as well. Who cares? You know, if, Whatever if you, you're comfortable with. If you want that MacBook mm -hmm. Air, the wireless will connect you. The wireless will work on all of them. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Two and, points and, that we um, agree on? Two points. But, but, you know, completely ding, ding. different cost when you're talking about that, too. So, and, and the biggest question I hear a lot and, and they, when they ask me is, oh, we, we want a machine, but, you know, well, they're just starting. They want to go cheap or maybe they, they have two or three uh, kids in college or just starting college and, oh, all of a sudden now they have to buy three laptops or something. So they're saying, well, what is the cheapest thing we can get by? And do, do I send them? to you know the local big box store and go buy the cheapest one off the desk or off their store shelf if you're I, just looking I, for no, web well, access you know. and typing yeah I think you could deal with that or even for me mm -hmm. I would go with a tablet you know like mm -hmm. an uh, iPad I think mm -hmm. I could get away with you know looking at web pages and, yeah. and typing stuff I could uh, I could do with it mm -hmm would be my maybe preference, but you know, you yeah. can get away with it. I'm, I'm gonna follow your train. Yeah. And yes, you can go to just about any store that sells a computer yeah. and buy the cheapest one and it will do what you need to for the requirements of your program. Right. And it's gonna be cheaper than an iPad anyway. It will be. Yeah. If you are in, in fine arts and graphics, if you're doing, you know, a film different. editing you have some higher requirements. Mm -hmm. that, that's understood. Oh, right. But if you just need to get onto wireless, everything has wireless. Right. If you need a keyboard, it all has that. They have an operating system that lets you save files and hook up printers and other USB mm -hmm. devices like a webcam. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's does your student break things? <laughs> yeah. How durable does it need to be? Two yeah. ways to go. Buy something that doesn't break, it is rock solid. Yep. Or buy something that you don't really get too upset if it breaks. Right. And there are very inexpensive um, Hewlett Packards and other brands mm -hmm. today that are brightly colored plastic. They, they look fun. They're very, very appealing. They're okay. And, but will know, not take a drop. Oh, they won't take you anything. Know, yeah. you know, they'll, they'll, boom, and you're down. You, you know and what I like about the Max? That magnetic pull-off power. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, that I do. Yeah, I, I agree. I definitely like that. That's because somebody's so going to walk into it that. or s drop yeah. it, and it'll just come off, and yeah. it won't have a broken connector inside of it, mm -hmm. and then. And and the inexpensive mm -hmm. laptops do not allow you to repair something like that. Right. You get into the more enterprise uh, level of, of equipment, and you can open up the case mm -hmm. and buy a replacement for that power connector. Mm -hmm. Um, which which requires a technician, but it's it, a solder in. No, 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 it's not, not a solder in. It's, it's a little plug-in thing. Okay. And you know, for for us, uh, that that would say I can take that laptop and clean it up and give it to another person, and mm -hmm. it's it's luggable. It's luggable. Right. If you travel a lot, you want something small and light. Mm -hmm. Which is the next question? Yeah. If if you're carrying it around, you need a case. If, if you're carrying it around a lot and you're going into airports and, and travel, you probably don't want to take one of those big 17-inch ones with the extra keypad on the side and built for enterprise grade yeah. with that metal chassis and everything. Mm -hmm. You want that nice lightweight 13-inch with the touch screen and ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. Yep, the, definitely. I... So how much can you afford? You know, most in this, you, you, that, that's the first question that I ask the the people that come to me is like, instead of me pointing to you to you one, tell me what my price range is, and then I'll point you to something. Because even though we we may be on the cheap side, maybe I want to go with one versus the other just because of maybe a little bit more memory or a little different hard drive. Maybe one's a solid state, one's a still a spinning disk. You know, and then that's where I'm going to go. Well, you know. 
the solid state's going to do you a little better because it'll be a little faster. If you do drop it, chances are you may not lose something, you know, versus that spinning disc. It may just crash right there. Sounds you know, like buying a car of... with different trim packages. Yeah, you can pretty get, much. You can, yeah. you can get your RAV, yep. or you can get the Sport, or you can get the Limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those heated leather seats are nice. Yep, yeah, but do you need them? Did you need them? No. And we can't make that decision on behalf of parents or the students. Right. That is a personal decision. And when I say, how, you know, how much do you feel comfortable, you know, paying? Mm -hmm. And when you go shopping, you really do get what you pay for. Right. Which, my, my wife hates it when I say that. You get what you pay for. Yeah. But truly, everything that you buy today is going to be quantitized and priced, mm -hmm. regardless of the manufacturer. And everybody's going to have a good, better, best line. Version, yeah. And with computers, every component can be upgraded, except for the main processor and the graphics card that's built onto the board for laptops. So if you really need something a little bit better, you better buy it the first time around. Right. That's right. what I usually tell them is buy yep. the most expensive thing you can get. Because can you can afford. Right. Because, you know, it's going to have some legs on it. It'll last longer. Mm -hmm. It will have some more capabilities. If you buy the absolute cheapest thing and then you get into a graphics program, Oh, now I need a new card, or I need a new memory, mm -hmm. or I need to add this or that. And when, you know, that's why Macs cost more, is because they put the best stuff in it from the get-go. And you, there's, you don't really need to upgrade. It's already there. It's there. And well, it's solid, and you won't be taking it back for uh, virus scans and mm -hmm. everything else. So, you know, there's maintenance that you won't have to do. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the difference, yeah. I think. Back to that higher and lower price, it, the, usually the lower price has a warranty of like 90 days or things like that. What do you tell, do, what do you tell them about that? Uh, just do you that, buy the that's extended what warranty? Do, yeah, do you buy the extended warranty? Is there an option to buy an extended warranty or do you buy the third party warranty that you can buy from like uh, um, Amazon or they offer some different warranties? Yes. To all of them, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, just throw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 just it keep throwing on, money at it. It depends upon the reliability of that uh, that company. Yeah. If you're buying it from a box store and they have a good reputation for support, mm -hmm. fine. Look at the ratings. Mm -hmm. uh, there are stores uh, that have uh, com uh, say there's, there's a company that has stores in Columbus and Cincinnati. Yeah, that begins with M, M and yeah. they are rated very high for their support. Mm -hmm. So. I bought a laptop, got three years of support from them, rather than the laptop maker. From the manufacturer, yeah. But there are third parties, yep. and uh, it can't come to my brain right now, but, mm -hmm. you know, if you think it's going to break and you can't afford to go out and replace it, get the warranty. Yeah. Especially if you have a child mm -hmm. where you know yourself to well, be yeah, a breaker of things. Yeah, I agree things. with that, yeah. If they're a little, oops, you know, they're breaking, they're oh, dropping well, things or, or oh, liquid or things of that nature. So you, you, know. you come home and you've got all these receipts and all of the papers. Mm -hmm. and the first thing I do is I sort out the ones that say how much I paid, where I bought it, and all that stuff. And I separate out the ones that has all the pictures to show how many set it up. And I make a photocopy of these. Of those. Two yeah. copies of them. Yep. One I put in a Ziploc envelope. And it goes back with my students. They okay. go to school with it. Yeah. And one of the things we do is we we take the laptop and we put it on a photocopy machine and we photocopy the bottom where all the service tag all information's tag on it. Yeah. And we give a copy of that to the campus police. Team. Oh, good for sure. And our, our, our campus police, thank you, Scott and company, um, they'll keep it in the file. And yeah. if anything were to happen, they will help you by saying, here's the information on your laptop and we can help track it. Oh. And that's something that's awesome. that Scott and his people tell everybody when they come here is keep your dorm room locked because people have a, a habit of, well, I just got run down to the restroom and I don't want to like take my key and stuff. So they'll just leave the door open, mm -hmm. run down to there and come back and their laptop's gone. gone or and game system or something. You know, every campus is wow. the same. There's, you know, one campus mm -hmm. isn't any worse than the other. Yeah. Things can happen, and there is theft. And it lock your car and leave it somewhere where it's not laying out. Sure. Mm -hmm. They can still break a window. What about locks? Which locks? Cable locks. Oh. 
Uh, put it in and you, and you oh, if put it's it around the frame staying, in your bed. Staying yeah. in your room, sure. Okay. Yeah. Would, you, mobile, would you cable lock a, a laptop and then unlock it every time you want to take it out? I sent my daughter to college with a cable lock to the frame of her bed. Mm -hmm. And then that ring was up there by her desk. And then I said, if you're going out, lock that lock up. Lock it up. Otherwise, you know, don't come back to me for another laptop. Yeah. Cheap insurance. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Mm -hmm. and, and today I still have that laptop and it is about 10 years old maybe. Wow. Still works. Yeah. Uh, runs the weather station. It's about all. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what else? You know, what, what other kind of devices? You've heard of Chromebooks? Yeah, them little light things that all you can do is surf the web, right? Good point. Yeah, that's about it. That's a good point. Um, in education, when they're using devices for massive amounts of students, a company will come. And it used to be Apple's with Apple II's way back when. And, um, you know, Google has made great inroads in K-12 through by providing internet accessible devices with keyboards. Mm -hmm. So in the classroom, they're able to open up the Chromebook, they're able to get on the network, and they're able to do things that are web-based apps. The thing about a Chromebook is there's no such thing as installing software on them. Right. There is certain Chromebooks that now can take Android apps, apps. so it's like a, like a telephone, but still, it seems like everything needs to get onto the network. Yep. And when Chromebooks show up here on our campus, we have to modify the setup a little bit to get on our wireless. Uh, we take away a, a certain security component, and they work. Hmm. But it's not our recommended. We still would recommend a, a, a Mac or a, a Windows operating system. Because all your authentication is done with a Microsoft-based program, and Google and Microsoft don't play that well together. It's the security certificates that are exchanged for wireless authentication. Mm -hmm. And there's a, um, a procedure where it says, check and then verify and send back a confirmation, mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen on a Chromebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow. Interesting. How about the news this week? Anything happening? Uh, uh, Not a thing. Olympics for me. I'm watching a lot of <laughs> Olympics. And the relationship to technology is... Hey. Uh, technology is you can watch every sport live streaming. I can watch them on my phone if I want. So, yeah, there's a lot of technology involved, <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah, there's you know, timers for the time runners. Oh, yeah, and time. Yeah. I mean, the, the, there hasn't been any controversies. We've talked about water. Right. We, we've talked about marriages and proposals. But I don't believe anybody. I don't know if we want to bring yeah. up email scandals. Oh, no. At the no. Olympics? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> politics man <laughs> that is that is true so secretary of state emails if somebody <laughs> if somebody takes away your identity yep. by breaking into a system mm -hmm. whether it's your own or it belongs to your organization or company yep. and all of a sudden you've been violated how do you recover from that that's a Witness good question. Program? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How do how, where where would you start? Well, we've we've had the attorney general's office here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, we've that's talked, true. We, we, yeah, we've, we've talked, talked about that. that. Yeah. But you do have to start over. You know, you, you mm -hmm. need to um, cancel mi everything. Right? Minimize your damage. Yeah. Contact your credit card companies. Banks. Um, all that and stuff. and you know, you do have to go out and get a new email account. And that's what's happened to people who allegedly had information stolen from a political party's server. Mm -hmm. and released to WikiLeaks. Yep. And Julian Assange today may or may not have said... <laughs> may or may not. <laughs> well, uh, Nancy Pelosi, former um, House leader, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. um, you know, got on the news and said that, that she's had to get new phones and she's had to change a lot of her information because mm -hmm. her identity has been leaked out through that. Right. You know, that's pretty serious stuff. No, that's people lost their jobs, they resigned. Hmm. Yeah. But you know the one thing that hasn't been leaked? Tax what? returns. No tax returns have been released. <laughs> that's good to the wild. I, I mean, that's, that's I had great. to do it, right? Yeah. You had to. You had to follow up. Yeah. Uh, what if, but, you know, I still worry about that. And, you know, today, I, I, yeah. you know, uh, working, working here at Rio Grande, um, 
we've done you know so much work tried to tell everybody change passwords change passwords change passwords but I was asked yesterday whether we have a policy that requires everybody to change passwords on a particular period every 90 yeah. days change passwords yeah it do, does the university does your university uh, we do we do we do have a, a does that force you or they just go no hey, you are you are so forced Dwayne or one, you Dwayne are deactivated two, Dwayne three Dwayne four yep. doesn't that force people to dumb down their passwords and just um, increment it with a number to a degree so yes. you're more predictable to a degree yeah, I agree it, it all depends on what, what your policy is on how you creating the password do you have to have numbers letters caps and, and the other thing that's in, involved in ours is it can't be a word a word formed in a dictionary. Really? Okay. So even though I, like you said, I could have Dwayne one, or I could put D as a capital and then Dwayne. Well, that passes Dwayne. the right words. Yeah, but the then, Dwayne. but then <laughs> that's found. That's a na that's a common name, so they won't allow it. So, so again, we're so so they're yes they're spaces. helping. No spaces. You can't have spaces. No spaces. Special characters. Okay. You can have special characters. Basically, it's caps, numbers. lowers, numbers, special characters. Mm -hmm. And a minimum of eight, um, eight. I think it's eight. But does now. your software force you? It's like, hey, time's up. You yes. got to change it. Yes, it does. Yes, it okay. does. And it gives us a countdown and, and warns us. I think it's about 20 days out. It says, hey, your password's about to expire. And about 10 days out, hey, um, don't forget this. And about five days out, it goes, oh, yeah, by the way, you're going to be disconnected. So I'm logging into my Buckeye email account. Yes. And I I'm, email I'm 10 days away. Mm -hmm. So your password system sends out email notifications. Mm -hmm. What if I haven't logged on for a while? Now, when I say password, I'm going to go back one, one step farther. It's the whole, it's the whole, it's not only email. It's the other resources that we have within Log us. It's everything. all the same thing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, one yeah. one uh, credential locks, uh, right. locks a lot well, of doors. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that has changed every. Uh, we've act. It was uh, one ninety days, and I think they backed it up to one twenty. For people that need assistance and password changes, who helps them? Uh, if you get locked out, you call the help desk. Help desk. And then the help desk reminds you that oh, you set security questions. Tell me these security questions, and then I will help you. And then that's how it rolls out. We have a self-service reset portal. Mm -hmm. And so what we try to do is get everybody to log into it once, save those questions, and then answer them. Yeah. And then when they want to do a reset, all they have to do is click on it, put in who they are, mm -hmm. and then answer their question, and then mm -hmm. they can reset it themselves. That's, we have that. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Or you set those questions, and you go, now, what did I make that? Because oddly enough, I have people saying, well, it doesn't matter what question I put in, I always use this word. Yep. And I was like, so the question really doesn't refer to the answer. And I'm like, oh, they make I never things. really thought about that. Yeah. Well, so, you know, they may say, oh, well, what's your mother's maiden name? Fred. Well, what's uh, the car, you first car you had? Fred. What, what's your dog's name? Fred. We can't repeat. So it doesn't matter what they are. We can't repeat. Right. Going to have but more than three yeah. letters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people that say, you know, well, what's your favorite, you know, what was your first pet? Yeah. Cat. No. You, but you we called it. it cat. Yeah. No. No, <laughs> can't, can't be that. No. Yeah. Can't, can't call it cat. Can't call right. it dog. Yeah. Fish. You can have a fish? Fish. fish. Well, yeah. it's got more than three letters. Fishy cat. Hmm. So, you know, I guess it is, you know, whether or not you have a, mm -hmm. uh, a help desk that can support it, yeah. whether or not you have a, a self-service option mm -hmm. so that somebody can, can do it on their own, yep. and, and whether or not you, you really want to enforce the policy, mm -hmm. and uh, we're at that point right now. Yeah. Really at that point. I, I, th I think everybody is starting to, to, we to have follow a, that. We have a, a lot of companies that have seen breaches, and they've no sent out notifications mm -hmm. to change your passwords. Yeah. And, you know, we set it, set it, set it again, change your passwords. Change them often. Change them to something that is difficult for people to guess, but easy for you to remember. Right. And if you're trying to type it on a mobile device, just remember those keypads, when you do the symbols, oh. you have to go 
Just you know, two hops away in order to get the pound sign, et cetera. And I always, <laughs> I always like to make a password that goes this hand, this hand. So I'm not like, duh, 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 duh. You know, sure. it goes really? across. Sure. It's, it's Everybody. harder to follow if somebody's looking yeah. over your I, shoulder. I've, I, I've got other people that the way they create their password is they remember a phrase in a song. Hmm. And I'm like, a phrase in a song? He said, yeah, sometimes it's the whole words. Sometimes it's the first letter of every word. So you never know. Okay. So in, in our case, hang on Sloopy is a popular password. <laughs> but yet, it's the song. It's not... Uh, right. Yeah. And if you were a music major, you would probably put in the notes. 25% yeah, like of Buckeye yeah. users have the same password. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. The, yeah. the last thing you had on here was uh, malware, ransomware, bloatware, Tupperware. Quit um, clicking on things. Yes. Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop. Um, the reason why I ran over here was because someone had something on their computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah. if, uh, if, if you have a little bit of time over lunch and you're surfing around, be careful if you're surfing. Don't click on links so that it opens up your web browser and yep. uh, goes to strange places. And by all means, if, if something odd happens to your computer, contact your system administrator. Mm -hmm. Tell them what happened and so that they can take remediate action. Uh, most companies today are going to try to just disconnect your computer, remove it, yep. isolate the damage, delete like those it. files and restore them. You know what they say, we don't pay ransoms. Right. That's always a fun topic. What's, that right there can be a whole topic. Blowware is all the junk that comes on that new laptop yeah. that you get. All you know, they have a little utility for this and all, and stuff. all this stuff yeah. like that. You know, the basic operating system from the, you know, from Windows, Microsoft, or Mac mm -hmm. does it just fine. You don't need all of their extra stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. Absolutely. And, you know, what happened on a lot of people that had Windows 7 when they did the update to Windows 10, it carried it through. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them aren't as functional or fun mm -hmm. under Windows 10. So just, just un uninstall them. Uninstall them. I Bloatware. Agree. It's a good term. Yeah. Yeah. So if my, my rule is, you know, especially for email, if you didn't ask for it, don't click on it. You know, if, if eBay sends, sends you, you package, something yeah. or some company, you know, and whoever out there makes it look convincing, mm -hmm. like, hey, you need to contact us and reset your password and need to click on this. Well, one way you can do is just like hover over it and see if the address looks like the right are address you? right it says are you dot are you or yep. some other strange country oh. so as always just, it's been a pleasure today just watch it's been that went quick yeah it did quick, quick show so thanks for watching tech talk and uh have a nice school year and stay safe stay in safe. all regards yep